you have lot of medical books which will tell you what to read how to go about with anatomy what to do when to do how to do here nothing from the very beginning you're going to have a supervisor yes but from the very beginning you are going to understand okay so first of all i would like to welcome you all to this special phd guidance session that is conducted by textbook super coaching platform and as you all know ki we are continuously guiding students for the net and grf बट नाउ वी आर ऑल्सो होपिंग कि नेट एंड जे आर एफ करने के बाद भी आप लोगों का एक जर्नी होती है जिसमें गाइडेंस बहुत अप्रोप्रिएटली नहीं मिलता ओके स्पेशली द स्टूडेंट्स दोज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द सेकंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर स्पेशली डी यू जे एन वाले स्टूडेंट्स तो फिर भी बहुत सारा गाइडेंस मिल जाता है आपको आपके दोस्त आपके मेंटर्स आपके सीनियर्स बट बहुत सारे ऐसे एस्परेंट्स होते हैं जो लोग बहुत स्मॉल टाउन से और उनके पास प्रॉपर गाइडेंस का मौका नहीं मिलता एंड दैट्स वाई ऑन दिस स्पेशल ओकेजन जब आज सारे टॉपर्स हमारे साथ हैं दे हैव करेक्ट नेट एंड जे आर एफ सो ओके सो लेट्स क्लैफ फॉर ऑल ऑफ दैम एंड आज टेक्स्ट बुक सुपर कोचिंग ने तीन स्पेशल गेस्ट जो कि फैकल्टीज़ हैं अपने अपने अलग अलग यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में रेपूटेड यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में उनको बुलाए जो कि आपके जो क्वेश्चन है रिगार्डिंग पी एच डी एज वेल एज योर फ्यूचर कैरियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ रिगार्डिंग असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जो भी आपके डाउट डाउट्स हैं पी एच डी गाइडेंस वो सब देंगे तो सबसे पहले मैं वेलकम करना चाहूँगा मृणय देव देव सो वेलकम आप अच्छा लगा आप यहाँ आए एंड देन अमित सर हैं हमारे पास जो जे से हैं एंड मैम है वीना मैम जो कि अभी अमेठी में एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एसोसिएटेड है ओके थैंक यू आप तीनों का आने के लिए और वन बाय वन हम सबसे क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे सो एक बार तालियां हो जाए हमारे तीनों गेस्ट के लिए एंड सो स्टार्टिंग में एक दो क्वेश्चंस हम जनरल लेते हैं उसके बाद वन बाय वन स्टूडेंट्स आप लोग जो जो क्वेश्चन रहेंगे आप हैंड रेस कीजिएगा एंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली आपके पास माइक आएगा ठीक है एंड प्लीज़ ट्राई कीजिएगा कि भी आप लोग के पास भी जो इतने आइडियाज़ मिल सके अपने भी क्वेश्चन पूछिए और जो थोड़े से जनरल क्वेश्चन है जो कि बिकॉज ये वीडियो पूरा रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है एंड बाकी स्टूडेंट्स भी देखेंगे जिससे उनको भी इंस्परेशन मिल सके एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो हैव सम देर आउट्स क्लियर आउट विद दिस पर्टल सेशन ओके थैंक यू सो आई गेस अश्विनी सर कुछ क्वेश्चन से स्टार्ट करना चाहेंगे यस सो पहला तो मेरा आपसे सभी से बी फ्रैंक ये मैं सोचा कि वीडियो है तो आप क्वेश्चन पूछने में थोड़ा हिचकिचा रहे हो बी फ्रैंक आपको रिसर्च प्रपोजल की शुरुआत से बिल्कुल आर से पूछना है वो पूछिए जैसे हिस्ट्री के स्टूडेंट है आपको जो पूछना है पूछिए ठीक है मैं ही शुरू करता हूँ चलो एनी वन हु इज़ फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री बैकग्राउंड हिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट ठीक है हाँ आप मैं आपके आप अभी मुझसे बात भी कर रहे थे आपको रिसर्च प्रपोजल में सबसे पहले क्या दिक्कत आ रही है सर अभी तो बनाना ही मुश्किल है मतलब मुझे अभी रॉ भी नहीं पता है सर्च किया मैंने गूगल वर्ल्ड पर पर अभी कन्फर्म नहीं हो रहा कौन सा टॉपिक चूज़ करें कैसे चूज करें मतलब सही एरिया क्या है ओके okay, मतलब रिसर्च प्रपोजल की सबसे पहली दिक्कत यही होती है कि आप चूज ही नहीं कर पा रहे हैं टॉपिक सर आप लेना चाहेंगे सर ये क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यू ऑल आल्सो एंड या इट्स अ वेरी वेरी जेनविन क्वेश्चन दैट वी अपीयर फॉर द एग्जाम राइट वी अपीयर ऑल वी अपीयर फॉर द एग्जाम नेट जे एंड वी अकॉर्डिंगली वर्क हार्ड नरिश आर सेल्फ एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी come up with the results whatever it is net or jrf right so the, then the main challenge come into the picture the challenge is that that how to select how to read first of all we can simply go to any kind of a journal and download the topic and all but we don't have any idea we read in our research aptitude that what is research what is research ethics etc right but we don't understand that how to apply it on a topic for example if we give a uh, indian election process right so in that case we don't know that where to start how to start so in that case i think the we have to generate a kind of a mindset we have to come up with a mindset that yes we have to read this article keeping in mind the objective that what kind of what a what kind of conceptualization the author has tried to conceptualize accordingly for example abstract likhna hai aap logo ko right uh, aap uh, proposal likh rahe hain for just you need to have a develop you need to develop an abstract right for just an idea that what your contribution but how can you find your contribution when you are not able to understand the author's contribution into the article so uh, sabse pehle jo hai hame writing थोड़ा फोकस करना चाहिए बिकॉज पीएचडी एंड रिसर्च प्रपोजल से लेकर पीएचडी की जर्नी के एंड तक हमें करना जो है वो है राइटिंग आवर राइटिंग स्किल्स विल ओनली प्रूव दैट टू वट एक्सटेंट आवर थीसिस क्वालिटी वुड बी राइट सो आई डिवाइड दिस थ्री थिंग्स इन टू वन थ्री वर्ड्स एक्चुअली वन इज दैट यू हैव टू नरिश योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट 
then you ha you can flourish right then you can polish right right without nourishing you cannot flourish neither you can polish yourself if you want to polish your ideas then uh, have an ex extract from the existing literature then you should have that mindset first wo chashma to pehno fir to dekhoge dikha ab chashma hi nahi hai hamare paas dekhenge kaise padhne ko to newspaper padho opeds padho articles padho 100 cheez pad sakte hain hum newspaper har din pad rahe hain but hame idea kyun nahi generate ho raha hai because we know the method we know what is research design but we are not able to apply it in a proper framework so first of all the idea is that we have to develop a kind of a mindset aur wo reading se hi aata hai us mindset se hame read karna hai us mindset ko objective ko dimag mein rakh ke i think ma'am can add if you want like yes thank you uh, first of all let me congratulate each one of you for this wonderful victory that you all achieved in a short span of time heartiest congratulations to all of you and a big congratulations to the faculty who are here uh, who have done a humongous task in uh, molding you people to this level so congratulations to you all too uh, well uh, sir has rightly put it you need to nourish yes it's very difficult to uh, understand well you got jrf you want to do research you want to get a doctorate degree having a dr in front of your name is something everybody you know dreams of you know it's wonderful if not a medical doctor a phd degree a doctorate well that was in my mind also yeah okay. am i not right <laughs> yeah sure huh? <laughs> so um, when you think getting a mbbs degree is easy let me tell you because you have a particular curriculum you they go there you have teachers to teach you you do their you the practical work you have everything ready at your fingertips what is here here you are going to give a set of knowledge very new to the particular field that you have chosen nobody is going to give you anything in capsule form you have lot of medical books which will tell you what to read how to go about with anatomy what to do when to do how to do here nothing from the very beginning you are going to have a supervisor yes but from the very beginning you are going to understand and make yourself understand i should say what you want to do so here the most important thing is nourishing nourishing your knowledge you need to keep reading you need to keep reading keep understanding and what to read when to read how to read another big question what to read what to read us what really interests you what is it that you're interested in what topic which area that you want to uh, do research what does research mean you're going to search do come up with something new okay you're not going to copy something it all becomes plagiarism and then you are put up for plagiarism no you know you can't do that you have to find out something new you have to you have to add to the corpus knowledge by researching by finding out something really new and what is it that new that you can do you have to develop a felt problem you have to develop a felt problem the felt problem is the key word that i'm giving you today what is that felt problem you are going to nourish yourself with lot of reading sir rightly said read read as much as you can understand from the other research work review a lot of literature reviewing literature is the first thing that you need to do before you start making an understanding of what you want to do you getting me what i'm saying all of you are with me so the felt problem the felt need suppose you're ta talking about i'll give a very uh, small example uh, we have inclusive schools now i'm sure you all know what are inclusive schools right okay. so we have inclusive schools and we have uh, umpteen number of literature regarding the inclusive schools but you want to find out something new <coughs> which is not in google which is not in any book something that you are going to add to the knowledge okay so you want you want the teachers the inclusive schools are there teachers are there i'm giving an example again uh, you want teachers you want to know what teachers can do to enhance the inclusivity in school okay so your answer the the answer that you're going to find out is going to be something that is not there in any of the reviews that you have read so you need to think out of the box 
You have to think out of the box. So develop a felt need to bring, to come to a research topic. Develop a felt need. You're reading about a lot of things. Yes, I want to do on uh, uh, dyslexia. Okay, what, what is dyslexia? Or have you seen anybody suffering? Or have you seen anybody having this kind of dyslexia? Read about it. Read as much as you can. There is no stop to reading. Okay, read as much as you can. What is it that you want to research on? Is it already done? Is it already done? What aspect of dyslexia have been covered? What is it that I can cover? Felt need. That is a felt need. What is it that I can cover? That is a felt need. Okay? So look for the felt need in you. If you take, if you borrow the idea from somebody, you will never reach to that point where you can discover something new. Okay? So develop the felt need in you so that you can proceed with your research well. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. मैम ने बहुत क्रिस्प वे में वैसे बहुत मतलब वंडरफुल एग्जांपल्स याद आपने बहुत आसान भाषा में आपको समझा दिया कि पहले खोज लो प्रॉब्लम्स क्या हैं जस्ट फाइंड आउट द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड देन यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली गेट योर टॉपिक्स when you fill the form for phd's there's an option in certain universities du mein bhi aata hai jnu mein bhi aata hai that you need to write you need to write out the mini thesis right before actually jab aap apply kar rahe ho this is your phd application process before you even get to the interview part so how do students write that because wo aapka research proposal se bhi concise ho jata hai